Have you ever experienced mirrorception? You know, when you put two mirrors together and the reflections just keep going and going, like an endless loop of your own image. As a kid, I was always fascinated by this phenomenon, but my parents' bathroom with its two identical sides opposite of each other only allowed me to see a limited number of reflections before my own body blocked the center. Today, I finally had the chance to satisfy my curiosity. I constructed a contraption with two mirrors facing each other, placed a lamp above them to provide adequate lighting and cut a small hole in the center to place my phone camera behind. Initially, it was cool but the center was still blocked off. I then set up my higher quality camera to capture the image and use it a one-way mirror instead to look into the infinite reflection. As I zoom it in on the images, I couldn't help but feel like I was peering into a portal that stretched out into infinity. The reflection slowly became clearer and clearer but the further they got, the darker they appeared. In the center, I noticed a small black square that looked like a tiny dot. I was about to turn off the camera when a thought occurred to me. What if I just let it keep recording? Maybe I could edit the footage and create something that would go viral on the internet. That night, I went to bed feeling content with my work. However, I was abruptly awakened by a feeling of intense heat and choking on thick smoke. As I sat up, I could see the flickering of flames in the darkness and the smell of burning plastic filled the air. Panic set in and I scrambled out of bed and made my way to the living room. To my horror, the entire room was ablaze. The TV screen flickered wildly as it burned and the smell was overpowering. I was frozen in shock for a minute before I finally snapped out of it and began gathering my most valuable possessions. Once outside, I dialed the emergency service and waited in a daze as the fire was put out. Afterwards, I assumed that the camera had been responsible for the fire. It must have overheated during its prolonged recording and caught on fire. The guilt and regret of my recklessness weighed heavily on my mind. Days later, as the smoke removal experts clean it up the aftermath, I decided to review the footage from that night. As I watched the images on the screen, I felt a shiver run down my spine. Something was off about the video. It wasn't just the fire. There was something else. Something strange lurking in the reflection. As I scrutinized the film, my heart began to race. Suddenly, I noticed something that hadn't been there before. A figure standing in the center of the black square. The figure was so blurry that it was difficult to make out, but its presence was undeniable. As I continued to watch, the figure grew clearer and clearer until it was standing directly in front of the camera, its eyes fixed on me. I sat there in horror. I knew it couldn't actually see me, but I was still terrified. This can't be real, I repeated in my mind. I scratched my head, noticing that the figure repeated that movement. I waved my hand around and dropped the camera in shock. The figure had been repeating my every move, just like a mirror. It had to be some coincidence or a prank, or I was hallucinating. I slowly picked up the camera. The mirrors around the figure looked like they were melting, liquefying, but not entirely dripping down, just getting bouncier. I noticed as more figures splashed through, the camera getting completely covered by the mirror liquid. The audio 
from the camera was the ghastly gurgling sound. It felt like it was haunting my ears. I wanted to put the camera down, but I was just too horrified. I could only sit and listen, staring at the distorted screen as I heard the demonic sounds and a crackling, which I assumed to be the fire starting. That was when I had enough. I stopped watching and put the camera down. I was too shocked to understand what to do. And that night I wasn't able to sleep until pretty late. My mind filled with the scenery of the footage. When I got home, I destroyed what remained of the contraption and erased the footage, knowing that I couldn't ever bring myself into peering into the endless reflection again. I've been super weary around any mirrors for a while, although it's been pretty silent since then. But the memory of what I had seen still haunts me to this day, and I can't help but wonder what other dark secrets lurk in the depths of the infinite portals. Sometimes, I still think I hear a gurgling echoing through my house in the depths of night.